everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to talk all about working online whilst being a student, whilst being in university, how to make money remotely online when you're traveling, studying abroad, in university, all of those things. Because I do know that obviously also now because of the pandemic, working online, working remotely is getting more and more important. And I also think this is the most ideal way to make money when you want to study abroad because you can work whilst you're still at home waiting to go to study abroad. You can then work on your at your study abroad destination. You can work whilst you're traveling. You can work whilst you go back home and your job isn't bound to a place or you are not bound to a place because of a job. Because let me tell you, that was one of the big reasons why I started my own online business in the first place because I forever want to be able to travel when I want, wherever I want, for how long I want. I don't want to move to a city I don't like because of a job. It's so much more relevant to your career than working a random retail part-time job, a restaurant part-time job, which I have all, like I've done all of this. I worked in nightlife, I worked in Burger King. None of this is relevant at all to my field of study. It also really makes you stand out in jobs and in interviews. If you can say, oh, here, I've been working online. I've been offering freelance services. I've been doing this and this. It really makes you stand out if you wanna get a job and like a great internship. So this is even for you if you don't want to start like your own business and become an entrepreneur, but really having all of those things to show and those experiences you get from it is very valuable. It can be much better paid than like random part-time jobs. It might also be a future career choice for you, right? So I started offering online services when I was in second year and now um, that's my job. I'm self-employed and um, if I didn't start my business in university to make a part-time income online, I would not be here today. If you are interested and you want to learn more about how to make money while studying, traveling, building your own business, working remotely, I would love to have you join my Girls Abroad membership. This is the first online community of women from all around the world who are coming together to empower and support each other whilst going abroad. All of those girls actually would love to work remotely, make money from anywhere, no matter whether they are studying abroad or at home. And a lot of those girls also want to start their own businesses. So this is a perfect community for you. If you're looking for support, if you're looking for tips, advice, Girls Abroad is for you. Enrollment is open. However, the doors close on Friday. So if you're watching this in real time right now, please make sure you join us now. If you're not watching this in real time, look at the link down below and you can get on a wait list to be notified when it opens again. But if you're watching in real time, make sure you check it out if you're interested. So what I've done. So if you're new to my channel, um, hi, my name is Laura. <laughs> I'm a 22 year old German small town girl. I just graduated from four years of studying abroad in Scotland and I'm now a digital nomad working remotely and you know, running my own business. Also by the way, a quick disclaimer. What I'm gonna share with you in this video, especially my own journey, is not an overnight success. You know, building a business, even building your income streams online takes a while, which should not demotivate you at all, but it should actually fire you up because the sooner you start, the sooner you get results. Basically what I did in my, my full second, third and fourth year, I've been working online. So in my first year, I worked two jobs. I worked at Burger King and I worked in a nightclub. And also in the summer, I worked in a cinema, so actually three jobs. Um, and I quickly realized that this is not really bringing me the value I'm looking for in terms of gaining the skills I need for my future career. And I also made the decision that I want to be self-employed because of what I said in the beginning, I want to be location independent, I want to travel, I want to make a big impact as well, and I just want to run my own business. That's just what I'm here to do. So I decided that. When I went into university in first year, I always thought I would work at like a big marketing agency and I didn't consider entrepreneurship like at all. And I have always been into like vlogging and YouTube and stuff, but I never really considered being an entrepreneur. I don't come from a family of entrepreneurs. No one in my family is an entrepreneur. So I kind of had to learn everything myself. 
I kind of told in my last video where I shared with you my whole study abroad story and um, but how I kind of stumbled into entrepreneurship was I saw a ad on social media on Facebook actually all about how to become a social media manager or like making money from home and blah 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 and I thought hmm this, that sounds interesting I study media I love social media I'm currently at home because it was in the summer between my first and second year of uni. So I was at home here in a German small town where there's not really great part-time jobs available. So I saw that ad and I was like, hmm, that, that sounds interesting. Um, and I had to do a lot of social media or I had a lot to do with social media because of my YouTube channel and my blog. So I took like a course that was like the first course I invested in all about how to become a social media manager. So I learned everything about like uh, Facebook and Instagram, how to get clients, how to price your services. I even set up a business and I got my first few clients, which was kind of crazy because until then I'd never <laughs> really done any business at all. So it was all very scary. It was really weird to charge like it, now that I look back I'm like I was so undercharging but at that time it seemed like so much money so that was also scary I don't want to get into it right now because I could literally talk about it for like an hour <laughs> yeah so I started as a social media manager and I pivoted a lot right so I started as a social media manager I realized that social media management is not my favorite thing because I do like to do my own social media and I do like to do it for a few people that really align with who I am but at the time I did social media for oil and gas companies and I was like this is not fun I don't want to do this so I pivoted into social media consulting so I offered like um, one hour sessions where I would um, like give like strategies and tips for business owners and how they can improve their social media presence I did it specifically for YouTube because I run my own YouTube channel I did it for personal brands because I'm a personal brand I always just try to teach what I have done myself However, I also quickly realized that if I could change the world, if I had a stage <laughs> to talk to the world about any topic, it wouldn't be social media. It wouldn't be how to grow your YouTube channel, right? It would be, you know, how to step outside your comfort zone, how to change your life by stepping outside your comfort zone, going after your dreams, all of those things that I'm truly passionate about. And I have to say, I, my business, like, I did make money from the consultations, but it never took off. Like, it was very inconsistent, um, and it just, it just didn't really work, because I, inside, didn't want to do it. I started my business in October 2017, in my second year, and then throughout the whole 2018, which is, like, my beginning of my third year then, um, I tried out different things, I spent a lot of time on my YouTube channel, I started doing video editing, which I still now do video editing and I just really tried out a lot of different things. In 2018 I also invested heavily in courses. I took courses about YouTube, sales, marketing, business. I got became part of different memberships. I um, invested into coaching. I read tons of books, listened to tons of podcasts, really educated myself and um, which I just love. I, I'm such a nerd when it comes to like learning things. I love personal development. I love learning about business, I love strategy, all of the things, it's great. And then in 2019 I um, got an internship at a social media agency, which I honestly think one of the big reasons why I even got that internship was because I had so much knowledge and so many skills about social media because I had been consulting, I had my own social media management clients, I learned so much about it. So actually the reason why I got my internship and why I was also very very good in my internship, I got like even a bonus, they wanted to keep me on after the internship. And that's also a big reason, even if you don't want to become an entrepreneur, offering services or like working online as like a freelancer or starting your own business is so beneficial to get jobs and internships, right? Because they love that entrepreneurial spirit. It shows so much drive and ambition. And if you actually work with real clients, you're so like you learn so much more than if you study it at uni like let me tell you this yeah so basically throughout 2019 i then worked in a social media agency which kind of showed me that yeah i don't really want to work in an agency so i really put like all of the effort into my own business in the beginning of my fourth year so like like around like september october in 2019 that's really when my business took off so 
two years after I started my business, that's when I consistently generated income. So that is also why I tell you that it might not be an overnight success, but it's something you have to start building now. If this is something you want to do too. I started doing more video editing for clients and also my YouTube channel started growing more um, and there are just a lot of things coming together. I also got a really, really great part-time job for an entrepreneurship and startup program at my university, again, because I had my own business. You know, that is the reason why I knew so much about business, about social media, and that's really what set me apart from like 40 applicants that they had for this position. Then now in like fourth year, I really, you know, continued building my business and now what I do um, in my business. So I work completely remotely, fully location independently. So I can work online, everything is online. I don't have to be anywhere. And that's always been my dream, honestly. A lot of different income streams, um, but I will just share with you a few that I have right now so you can get some ideas. I am a launch and content manager for Dream Life Deluxe, which is like a lifestyle and business brand. So I help um, Dream Life Deluxe with creating content, with uh, copywriting, um, creating courses and masterclasses, all of those things. So I work remotely for that, it's hour based. Then I do affiliate marketing for my weight loss coach Tiasha Slana. So I've talked about like my emotional eating weight loss journey a lot on this YouTube channel. And because I do so believe in Tiasha's programs, I'm her affiliate, which means that if someone buys her programs through my links, I get commission. So because I do have this audience on YouTube and on Instagram, I am making good money through affiliate marketing. I also then have my Girls Abroad membership. Again, if you would love to join, if you'd love to learn more as well about business, working remotely, we are covering all of this in the Girls Abroad membership. And um, so again, link is down below. You can join until Friday. YouTube, so I do get like um, sponsorships from time to time. I do get my AdSense money. Um, I also have my Girls Abroad ebook, which um, is selling like kind of passively, like through my YouTube videos. Um, and yeah, and for the future, I am definitely wanting to launch a lot more programs and online courses and also group coaching programs so I can really show you what I've done myself. Um, so as you can see, like my business, I mean, there are so many kinds of businesses, right? But my business is a personal brand. So it's all around me. I'm kind of my business. And what I'm also sharing in my business really evolves around what I have done myself, right? So I have this membership um, helping you to go abroad because I have gone abroad myself. I edit videos for people because I'm editing videos here on my YouTube channel, right? And that's how I know all of those things. Of course, you know, there are so many other different business models. And um, however, I am such a big fan of personal branding and I can of course recommend you to build your brand around yourself because I think that's also the best starting point. It's easy. I just kind of want to give you a few tips as well um, if you want to do something similar to what I have done. So the first tip is to figure out, you know, what are you good at? What can you offer? And you know, I know it might be like really confusing because you're like, I, I don't know, like I don't really have skills, I don't know, like I don't know what I'm good at. And um, so I have a few questions that you might ask yourself and also people around you. So what do people come to me for? So think about what do people constantly ask you about, like your friends and family, what do they come to you for? So people like come to me for advice on study abroad and traveling. They ask me about my time management, my productivity, and they ask me about business, right? And that is what I have built my business around. You know what I have figured out myself, I can show and help others do too. And that is what you can put into programs, into services, into um, a YouTube channel. What you have mastered yourself, you can help others do. Another question you can journal or ask yourself is, what is easy for me that I don't give myself enough credit for? So. For me, it is so easy to time management, like to manage my time really well, but for a lot of people it isn't. And so this is a skill that I have that I can monetize to help other people with. The second tip or the second piece of advice I have for you is 
start with something. So now you might have this big list of things you might do and you might be super overwhelmed because like a lot of my members in my membership are actually the same. They're like, oh my God, but I have so many things I could do. I'm so multi-passionate. I don't know where to start. You are not going to end up doing what you're doing now. I started as a social media manager, which it might seem related to what I do now, but my vision back then of what I might do was different. Like I was thinking and like, oh, I'm gonna have my own social media agency and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, you know? But that helped me figure out that this is not what I want to do. So you just have to start with something. And even if it's not the thing you like, at least you know that you don't like it because you first have to do it in order to know, you know whether this is the thing for you. The third piece of advice is kind of similar to the second one and it's to start now and realize that building your own business especially if you want to go down the route that I've gone down um, takes a while and it's a long-term project so I would recommend you to start building your own personal brand through Instagram or a YouTube channel or a blog now um, and then you can get like remote online jobs on the side as well. You know, like you can look on Facebook or LinkedIn or Indeed and look for remote jobs, especially now during the pandemic. And there have been so many more remote jobs, right? Which is great. Like start building your personal brand, your own thing on the side. And um, because it's going to take a lot longer to build, like it's not just like you get a part-time job and boom, you get paid. This is something you build over time and that's going to increase the income like more and more and more with time though like it's nothing immediate it's nothing instant but it's going to pay off in the long run obviously because like the limit is like endless there's no limit to how much money you can make there's no limit to like what big of an empire you can build and the fourth tip i have for you is to get a role model or a mentor and and or a mentor what is really important in in my opinion i think is yes do your own thing and know that you don't have to reinvent the wheel you don't have to come up with the super original business idea you can do something similar to what people are already doing because especially if you're a personal brand what makes you stand out is your personality and your personal experiences as well and so look online right maybe you want to do something similar to what i'm doing maybe then i i could be your mentor or your role model or you know for me it was always um like digital nomads that i followed online or you could look on youtube or podcasts or read books like find role models and then pick one or two max because once you get into the business world everyone tells you different things so that's definitely something i learned because i was so obsessed with like learning that i was just over consuming constantly and i got so confused because like everyone tells you to do different things and you really have to focus down right so i recommend to get like one or two mentors so i'm a big fan of memberships i myself am part of two memberships because it's um you know, you get the community aspect, so you are in this with a lot of other people as well. And it's a uh, more low price than like one-on-one -on -one coaching. And um, so again, if you wish, if you would like to be part of my membership, Girls Abroad, it's uh, linked down below in the description box. And we have monthly group coaching calls where you can ask me any questions that you have and I can give you guidance. And also in the community, we have an app actually where, you know, I post all the time there are challenges and um, I always like give you guidance as well. And then the final and fifth tip that I have for you is to surround yourself with the right people. So this whole way of, you know, running your own business, working remotely online as a student, it can be lonely because, you know, when I did it, a lot of people in uni, you know, they wanted to go into nine to five jobs and I felt quite disconnected from being a student because I had identified now as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. And I think it's so important to then surround yourself with people who get that, who are on a similar journey, who can motivate you, can inspire you, you can exchange advice. One of my big ways to connect with other entrepreneurs was to join Facebook group. And it was also for me, as I already mentioned, to join memberships. So here um, you could join my my own one girls abroad or you could look for other ones that are specifically for your business type or whatever like there's so much out there so many amazing communities that you can join 
um, but surrounding yourself with other people who are on your journey is so important. You know, there are so many events as well, master classes, also online, um, but I think this is so, so, so important um, because you see what is possible, you know, like when you surround yourself with the people who are where you want to be, that makes everything that you want to do so much more possible, right? Because you see, well, if they can do it, so can I. Please comment down below if you'd be interested in me doing a separate video all about like really in-depth explaining different income streams because I know I mentioned kind of my own income streams but I have so many more ideas on how you could make money online especially as a personal brand starting your own business so let me know if you'd be interested in like a video on like I don't know like 20 income streams to make money online as a student or something like that comment down below and um, if you're interested in joining my girls abroad membership the link is down below you can enroll until friday i would love to see you inside there i would love to work with you i would love to give you guidance cheer you on and you're also going to be supported by girls from all around the world who just like you also want to run their own businesses they want to make a big impact and they really want to live their dream life so i would love to have you inside girls abroad Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then I am 100% sure you're gonna love this video as well, which is the day in the life of a student entrepreneur, where I share with you how I balance studying, working, my business, all of those things. So I will see you in that video.